The equation of a straight line. There are different ways to write the equation of a straight line. Which one you use is determined by the information given in the question. The first one is the gradient intercept form, also called the standard form of a straight line. y equals mx plus c. m is the gradient and c is the y intercept. The second one is the gradient point form. y minus y1 equals m multiplied by the difference of x and x1. m is the gradient and x1 and y1 are the coordinates of a point on the line. The third one that is not used very often is the intercept form, which is x divided by a, where a is the x-intercept of a line plus y divided by b, where b is the y-intercept of the line equals 1. There are some special cases of equations of straight-line graphs. For example, when x equals a, where a is an element of real numbers, we have a vertical straight line perpendicular to the x-axis and parallel to the y-axis. The gradient of this line is undefined. For example, x equals 3. When y equals a, where a is an element of real numbers, we get the equation of a horizontal line perpendicular to the y-axis and parallel to the x-axis. The gradient of this line will be zero. For example, y equals negative 2. Example 1. Finding the equation of a straight line when the gradient and a point are given. Determine the equation of a line with a gradient equal to 4 and passing through the point A, negative 3, 5. Since we have the gradient and a point, we can use the gradient point form of a straight line graph given by the equation y minus y1 equals m multiplied by the difference of x and x1. Replace m with 4, the gradient of the given line, substitute y1 with the y-coordinate of point A, 5, and substitute x1 with the x-coordinate of point A, which is negative 3. So we get y minus 5 equals 4 times x plus 3. We remove the brackets by multiplying the terms x and 3 by 4. We get y minus 5 equals 4x plus 12. Add 5 to both sides of the equation to write the straight line in standard form. Therefore, y equals 4x plus 17. Example 2. Finding the equation of a line when two points are known. Let's find the equation of a line which passes through the two given points A and B. The coordinates of point A are 3, negative 4, and the coordinates of point B are negative 2 and 0. We calculate the gradient of the first line. The gradient of the line AB equals YB minus YA divided by XB minus XA. The gradient m of ab equals 0 minus negative 4, all divided by negative 2 minus 3. This equals negative 4 fifths. We will use the formula y equals mx plus c to find the value of c, the y-intercept. Choose one of the given points and substitute its coordinates in the formula. We choose point b, negative 2, 0. We substitute y with 0 the y-coordinate of point B, and substitute x with negative 2, the x-coordinate of point B. Substitute m with the gradient of AB, which is negative 4 over 5. You get 0 equals 8 over 5 plus c. Solving for c, we get c equals negative 8 over 5. Therefore, the equation of line AB is defined by y equals negative 4 over 5 x minus 8 divided over 5. Example 3. Finding a coordinate of a point on a line. If line AB is perpendicular to the line y equals 3x minus 7 at point P0 negative 7, Determine y of point C negative 3y lies on line AB. 
The product of the gradients of perpendicular lines equals negative 1. Therefore, the gradient of line AB, MAB, equals negative 1 divided by 3. We get this since AB is perpendicular to the line with gradient 3. This means the gradient of AB will be the negative reciprocal of 3, hence negative a third. The gradient of the line PC, MPC, equals the gradient of AB, MAB, equals negative a third. The gradient of PC, MPC, equals YP minus YC, all divided by XP minus XC, equals negative 7 minus Y, all divided by 0 minus negative 3, equals negative a third. So negative 7 minus y over 3 is equal to negative a third. By cross multiplying we get negative 21 minus 3y equals negative 3. Taking constant terms to the right of the equation we get negative 3y equals 18. Dividing by negative 3 we get y equals negative 6. Example 4. Finding the equation of perpendicular lines. Determine the equation of the line AB if it is given that AB is perpendicular to the line 2y equals 4x plus 8 and passes through negative 2, negative 8. Writing the given equation in standard form by dividing the equation by 2, we get y equals 2x plus 4. The line has a gradient of 2. This is m equals 2. Therefore, the gradient of the line AB, which is perpendicular to the line with gradient 2, equals negative a half because the lines are perpendicular. And we know the product of their gradient is negative 1. Hence, we find the gradient of line AB equals negative a half. Since we have a gradient which is negative a half and the point negative 2, negative 8, we use the formula y minus y1 equals m multiplied by x minus x1 to work out the equation of the straight line. y minus negative 8 equals negative half multiplied by x minus negative 2 in brackets. Therefore, y plus 8 equals negative a half x minus 1 by multiplying the negative half into the brackets on the right-hand side of the equation. Writing in standard form by subtracting 8 on both sides of the equation, we get y equals negative a half x minus 9. Example 5. Finding the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of line AB if point A negative 6, negative 2, and point B3, 1. A bisector cuts a line in half, therefore we need the midpoint M of line AB, so we can get a coordinate that lies on the perpendicular bisector of line AB in order to find the equation. The coordinates of the midpoint of line AB is found using the formula xA plus xB all divided by 2, yA plus yB all divided by 2. By substituting the coordinates of the points A and B into the midpoint formula, we get negative 6 plus 3 all divided by 2, negative 2 plus 1 all divided by 2. So, the coordinates of the midpoint M of line AB are negative 3 divided by 2 and negative a half. The gradient of line AB, MAB, equals the y-coordinate at point A, YA minus the y-coordinate at point B, YB all divided by the x-coordinate at point A, XA minus the x-coordinate at point B, XB. This equals negative 2 minus 1, all divided by negative 6 minus 3, which gives negative 3 divided by negative 9, and that equals a third. Therefore, the gradient of the perpendicular bisector equals negative 3, as it is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of line AB. 
Since we have the gradient of the perpendicular bisector and the midpoint m that lies on the bisector, we use the equation y minus y1 equals m multiplied by x minus x1 to find the equation. We substitute the gradient negative 3 for m and the coordinates of the midpoint m negative a half for y1 and negative 3 divided by 2 for x1. We get y minus negative a half equals negative 3 times in brackets x minus negative 3 over 2, which simplifies to y plus a half equals negative 3 times open brackets x plus 3 over 2, close brackets. So by getting y by itself, we get y equals negative 3x minus 9 divided by 2 minus a half. Adding like terms, we get y equals negative 3x minus 5. Therefore, the equation of the perpendicular bisector is y equals negative 3x minus 5.